What's going on everyone? Nicholas Nat with Nat Fitness and I'm excited because today we're going to dig down to some nitty gritty, the power of goal setting. Now, when we talk about goals, we could obviously go into a variety of topics. One topic in particular that I want to reference is actually a book that I authored called Abs Energy and Confidence. Now, really quick before we start talking about goals, I want to talk a little bit about this book, Abs Energy and Confidence, which you guys can download if you click the link below. Now, I wrote this book as a concept, not really to just talk about abs and having a six pack or a four pack of abs, right? Abs are really representative of your body, your health, your actual machine. Energy, which I think everyone can relate in, you have a good day, it seems like things are kind of moving downhill, you have the energy, you have the vibrancy, you have the resilience, and if anyone's ever gone out and had way too much to drink and then you wake up the next morning and you just try to live adult, you recognize that that's a lot harder to do without the kind of energy you want. And then ultimately confidence. Confidence is key. Confidence is your ability to walk into a situation and be able to stand tall confidently in yourself and to feel that you can obviously move forward and you can take on whatever's coming at you. Now, if you don't feel confident, then it seems like everything is not just a challenge, it's overbearing, you have overwhelm, right? The reason that I wanna talk about these goals in particular, because I think that they pertain to just about every single person, it doesn't matter where you are, where you come from, what you think, what you believe, this is something that is all vibrant to you. When I think about goals, I think that people usually end up in one of three categories. One, they're very clear, about a goal that they have. I want to go on vacation up north to Niagara Falls between the dates of X and Y in August and I wanna have this trip because I've never been there and it's a story that I used to read, okay? So they understand what their goal is, when that's gonna be happening and why it pertains to them and why it's important. Let's say you also have the second, this is where I think most people have. They have an arbitrary goal. It's not something that they've actually written down, they've put in their phone or they've committed to paper. However, in the back of their mind, they know that, oh, it'd be great to go on this goal. So they say they have a goal, but they've not actually declared when they want it to happen. They've said, maybe idealistically, that they would love to go to Niagara Falls, but they just say uh, up north somewhere, you know, northeast. And most importantly, they set a time constraint on it, but they have an open end. Oh, sometime in the end of summer or sometime next year. And then you have people here who know that they should set goals. They know why that goal would be relevant, but they actually don't do the work. And basically, whether they're aware of it or not, they're just kind of moving in the wind, hoping that if they get some kind of a sign, they'll apply energy towards that. If not, it wasn't meant to be. You probably identify with one of those three individuals. And what I want to disseminate are really the difference between people who are in the two or the one. The difference between these two people is the level of intentionality behind the goal. So if you have a goal for yourself and something that you definitely want to apply, the first thing I think that is critical is setting down that goal and writing it down. So if I am a person that says, okay, hey, I'm gonna be stepping in the personal training role. I'm gonna be selling personal training to people who wanna change their lives. I wanna make sure that people take me serious and that they're also in a position where they believe that I have their best interest at heart, I have the skills to make sure that they can accomplish their goals, I have answers for their questions, all that stuff. What's gonna help me have confidence is knowing that I am consistent with the message that I am trying to approve. So if I set a goal for myself that I am going to be a disciplined person, I'm gonna work out at least five times a week, I'm gonna do some moderations of cardio and strength training, whatever that would be, those are all things that are gonna empower me to ultimately cultivate confidence and I'm gonna stand a lot more sincere and authentic in the conversation that I'm having with these people. Now, let's say that I'm the second version of that individual and I say, okay, well, I'm gonna go out and sell personal training and I wanna impact people's lives. Same, just cause as myself in the first situation. However, the difference in the situation now might be that, well, I don't necessarily feel like going to the gym today because I'm tired or I have to go to the grocery store or you know what, my feet hurt from the last workout that I did, so I'm gonna take the day off. And ultimately, I'm the kind of person that is finding myself responding to how I feel in the moment emotionally and based on stimuli. My ability, if I play that out from just a confidence standpoint over a week, over a month, over a quarter, over a year, these people are gonna end up in very different places because ultimately the way that the weather is moving is ultimately dictating this person. Emotions are likely going to influence what they do or what they don't do. Whereas this person over here is probably gonna cultivate some level of resilience. They're gonna be more disciplined. They're gonna be more consistent. And every time that they win that battle of staying consistent because of what they've written down and because of what it means to them, they're gonna be in a position where 
they're gonna achieve a lot more. So I want this not just for you because that's my own mission, that's my goal, but I want it for you because I recognize so much as a trainer, as a coach, as a performance specialist, as a speaker, and as an athlete, that so many people have very definitive things that they would love to accomplish and they recognize that it's actually gonna better their life. The problem is, is that most of these people are in a position where they've actually done the due diligent work of actually putting their energy forward and it has to do with belief and it has to do with their ability to execute. Don't be the individual who does not take advantage or does not make a declaration for themselves or apply themselves in their goal setting because you have disbelief you will cultivate and you will build that in that process. So I invite you to do two things. First and foremost, if you have not already joined my community, you can do so by clicking the link below, downloading the ebook, Abs, Energy, and Confidence, which is what I just talked about. That will give you access to my back office community. There you'll be able to have conversations with very like-minded people who are just like you. They wanna better their lives, they want to do more, and ultimately they wanna connect and hear and have more deeper and intimate conversations about how we all can level up. And the next thing is click the other link below like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you guys are gonna be in a position where I'm gonna get that feedback and I'm gonna be able to propel that information back to you. That's gonna help me continue to make more efficient and viable content that can truly impact you, that can give you whatever spiritual entertainment you need, but also the conclusive protocol that's gonna help you guys understand this is how I create breakthrough and this is gonna be something that's valuable. This is my mission. I would love to connect with you more. Click the link below, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel and I appreciate and look forward to having a conversation with you guys next time. Till that next time, Nicholas Nat with Nat Fitness signing off.